Hello and welcome to ckkmobile.com This time I have a, again something new from the company you must already know which is Runcore and uh, what I believe that they have some serious plans to bring us the best possible uh, SSDs for for these small computers so right now what I have here is their new um, PCI Express uh, card for EPCs for 901, for 900A and 900 and 702 and 701s, the early ones with the connector. Uh, what's special about this is that it's SEDA 1. It's not, not the, uh, uh, the bus is not PEDA anymore like on, on typically on EPCs, but this is SEDA, which means it's faster. But it also means that this is not for maybe beginners, as you cannot clone it as easily from from your earlier system. Even it has the USB. It comes with a with a USB uh, cord for easy cloning. But uh, especially XP doesn't really like if you clone it from a PEDA PEDA system to SEDA. Other than that, you also have to have the latest BIOS on your EPC to make it work and be, be careful on that you have to upgrade the BIOS if, if you don't have the latest you get the latest one from ASUS side okay so that was a warning not for beginners this is a pro stuff but then let's test it a bit I already had have one inside there so if you don't know how to swap it check my other videos I, I show it there but now let's see see the performance uh, on this one so I have now here already some performance software is open but one I have been asked to do is IO meter one so let's open the IO meter file so this is now for for four I'm accessing the C drive and the special the specifications for the access are let's open it are 4k 100% bright and 100% random so I'm doing 4k uh, random bright test and let's see how it performs hopefully you can see it from there so we are getting 500 IOs per second Total megabytes per second uh, 1.9. Uh, average I/O response time 2 milliseconds maximum. Okay, it's seven. Oh, it jumped uh, to 700. So I can see that there is occasional jump to uh, 700 milliseconds, but typically it's uh, on 7 milliseconds. And the CPU utiliz utilization is about 4 percent. So this means on 4K random writes this is faster than many many uh, SLC based uh, high-end SSD so this is looking super let's close that I did the Atto benchmark test and uh, I'm getting 125 read and top at 85 write and this is for the 64 gigabyte uh, one. I understood that the 16 and 32 are little, uh, uh, little less uh, speedy, uh, looking at like 100 slash 50 or something, 100 slash 65. But this one I have is 64, and it it gets me 125 read and 85 write. Okay, and crystal disk mark gives me 115 78. Again, impressive numbers on $200 computer. So, so if you compare this really high-end uh, SSDs that cost your house, uh, of course it's slower. But uh, we can't use those big drives on these small devices. And also, the prices for this one are the same as Runcore's other prices, which means you can get 32 or 64 for 100 or or, or 200 dollars. So let's start playing uh, I just did some screenshot earlier and noticed that when I open my my uh, my 
software for that. Check this out. I'm opening Painter Pro. Bam! It's there. <laughs> opening anything on the system is there. Let's open a 720p movie file. It's there. It's everything is just happening when you click. Let's fast forward a bit. Of course playing really nicely and, and uh, everything but let's tease it a bit. Let's same time open the Firefox and let's start surfing to some heavy side and gadget. You can hear the hear the uh, high definition movie playing in the background. So netbooks are not for multitasking, right? <laughs> so good SSD can make a difference. So I think that. Again, Rancor has done a great job with the SSDs. This is my, my current device. My trusty old 900A is again even faster. Uh, one, one really big uh, difference I noticed on opening anything. It's instant. It's, it's really instant. Also, uh, even doing flash videos, it's better. Let's see if I have a link to high-end last let's see if that one works now I have to put my put my passwords to it don't remember let's see if we can get that back it was that one so flash video full screen is uh, again really nice on that no, the link was not nice. Let's see. Let's open this one. Let's see, friends. Let's fast forward to this. Hopefully, we're not getting some stupid ad. Yeah, we're getting stupid ads. So let's fast forward again. Because I can get a job any day now. You do appear right on the cusp of something. <laughs> So, two megabyte flash full screen, beautifully. On, on uh, other drives, I, I notice something I don't like when I'm playing full screen flash, especially the heavy, heavy ones. But with this drive, it's helping even on that. So I, I, I I'm, <laughs> I'm in love with this one. I'm not gonna send this back. So really, I think they they overdone it again. This is this is nice. You can get the links for the buying places and see the screenshots for the test at my site jkkmobile.com. Seriously, consider this one. But if you don't want to install the system from scratch or if you don't want to uh, want to uh, play with the BIOS then this is not for you, this is really really for uh, experienced users but uh, I have to say I'm liking it, I have to show you this one I don't know how fast Skype opens on your device but check check this out BAM! and it's there it's it's good okay need to do one more thing check this out, let's put it on standby ZAB <laughs> Was fast enough for you? Let's wake it up. And here we go. Let's do the hibernation. Quite fast, okay, huh? Okay, let's open from hibernation. This is really where SSD shine. Oh, by the way, I'm dual booting to Windows 7, so... Here we go. And this is with a big hibernation file, so... I think it's okay. Okay, this time over and out. Thank you, bye.